Good morning and happy Sabbath. I am really early today. I am before midday. It's not even 11 a.m. yet, but I was able to get an early start. So um, I will be reading Exodus chapter 11 today. And we are into where Moses and Pharaoh are having a showdown of displays of God's power but Pharaoh is still ah, refusing to let the children of Israel go so that they may worship God so God has sent nine plagues so far um, we are going into chapter 11 and we are go it's a short chapter today but we are going to hear maybe what will be the final countdown that would allow Pharaoh to change his mind and say yes to God because now Moses is taking like a back seat he is not really going to go before Pharaoh anymore um, but I think yeah he said he would not he would not see his face again but let's see what God has in store okay all right so let's go with chapter 11 and the Lord said unto Moses Yet will I bring one plague more upon Pharaoh and upon Egypt. Afterwards he will let you go hence. When he shall let you go, he shall surely thrust you out hence altogether. Speak now in the ears of the people, and let every man borrow of his neighbor, and every woman of her neighbor, jewels of silver and jewels of gold. And the Lord gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. Moreover, the man Moses was very great in the land of Egypt, in the sight of Pharaoh's servants, and in the sight of the people. And Moses said, Thus saith the Lord, About midnight will I go out into the midst of Egypt, and all the firstborn in the land of Egypt shall die. From the firstborn of Pharaoh that smites, that sitteth upon his throne, even unto the firstborn of the maidservant that is behind the mill, and all the firstborn of beasts. And there shall be a great cry throughout all the land of Egypt, such as there was none like it, nor shall be like it any more. But against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue, against man or beast, that you may know how that the Lord doth put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. And all these thy servants shall come down unto me, and bow down themselves unto me, saying, Get thee out, and all the people that follow thee, and after that I will go out. And he went out from Pharaoh in a great anger. And the Lord said unto Moses, Pharaoh shall not hearken unto you, that my wonders may be multiplied in the land of Egypt. And Moses and Aaron did all these wonders before Pharaoh. And the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart so that he would not let the children of Israel go out of his land. Wow. So we have God telling Moses, hey, I have one more time for you to go before Pharaoh. And this time, this is going to be the big one, I believe. I mean, death straight up, human death involved. This will be plague number 10, when all the firstborns of Egypt shall die, of every man and every beast, all the firstborns. And um, hmm, I think after this one, we will see what Pharaoh says. So God is telling Moses to get the people to, of Israel to borrow um, items from their neighbors, jewelry, gold. And we will see what all of that is for when they do get out of Egypt later on. Um, so when they leave Egypt, as the um, a previous chapter said, they will have spoils. They're not leaving empty handed because... Um, God will give them favor in the sight of the Egyptians to give them things. So when they leave, they will be fully loaded with things to go out of Egypt. And that is it for today. I get, again thank all of you who have viewed and plan to view. Um, feel free to comment. I hope you are inspired or informed and have maybe some thought of something you heard here today. And times before I have at least 52 videos out already so 
I pray that you will be inspired, blessed, or informed by some one of them or more. <laughs> and again, I pray you have a wonderful day. Again, happy Sabbath and have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Bye.